Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning everyone, it's Marisa. So, today to start out with, I just wanted to show you a couple of things um, that I got. And this is really exciting. And yeah, so um, I told the other day that I bought these really cool molds. And uh, there was two that came with here with here with the with these and I actually made two and I have to say I'm really proud of myself because this is the first time I actually did this with the molds and they literally came out perfect this um, I don't know much about resin but I'm gonna tell you right now just the two resin um, types that I bought look at this this came out just perfect I mean, it is clear like glass, and yes, the Unicone. Now, the other one I have is called Art and Glow, and it it's good too. It's it it is you know does the same thing, obviously. But I did notice about this brand, and I think everyone has their own favorite. I don't you know I'm not too I'm not I am definitely not an expert on resin. This is like me just getting my feet wet. Um, using resin for the first time I mean like this year really this cu last couple of months okay um, and this is literally the first time I used a mold and I'm gonna tell you the difference already is that the unicone now when you mix both parts together it is normal that it is cloudy and for those of you who don't know, I am, like I said, I'm no expert, but I'm gonna share with you what I do know is that it's always a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you put like one ounce of resin, you're gonna put one ounce of hardener. That's why, um, you know, if you put one gallon, it's one-to-one -one always, okay? Um, and that's why I bought the set because at least I could measure, I didn't wanna eyeball it because it won't come out right, you know? Um, it may be too soft, it may be too hard, just it, but what I did notice is that when I mixed the unicone together, the cloudiness went away really, really fast, and it did not, it, you have to mix it a lot, you have to mix it a lot, and tomorrow, I'm probably actually going to do a mold here on the channel, and I will show you what I do now, you know, but you have to mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it and then scrape the bottom and scrape the sides and mix it for at least 10 minutes straight, at least. But I noticed that this one got clear really, really fast. And when I poured it into the mold, there was no bubbles, like nothing. I did torch it with uh, my butane torch a little bit, but it barely needed it. The other one I saw that it did have more bubbles and it did take longer to get clear, but it did get clear, you know, when you mix the two parts. But this, this brand, I'm really happy with it. And I think it was $25 for like a 16 ounce kit, meaning it's always um, like eight and eight. So when you see something saying 16 ounces, you're not gonna get 16 ounce bottles. You're gonna get eight ounces of, of the resin, eight ounces of the hardener. Usually, that's how companies sell it. So let's unmold this guy. And this popped it, this, this pops out really, really fast. This just just beautiful. So I am, I mean, look how fast. It's just gorgeous. Really nice mold. And like I said, I think yesterday, um, the two were $10. So, you know what? It's worth it. And you can make keychains. Maybe you can even make a little necklace. Um, and I think after 8 to 10 hours is when the resin is actually... It's hard, but it's not 100% uh, cured yet. So, you can actually stick in... So, it's like a little bit pliable. You could actually stick in, like, if you want to do a necklace or you want to... Um, do like a keychain, you can actually stick in a little um, thing on a bob. Don't ask me what the heck it's called, but you could actually stick things in here to make the keychain. But look at this. This came out like, even my son was like, You made that? I'm like, Yep. So <laughs> you thought it was really cool. I mean, these are so adorable. 
Yeah, I love this. I am in love. So I went off and I went uh, to Arteza's site um, for the heck of it. Oh, yeah, because I use Afterpay. Um, you know, I'm a starving artist, so ser literally. So, I mean, thank God for my husband and all that. But, you know, um, yeah, so I made this one too. This one, uh, what I did accidentally, I poured over the mold a little bit. So, you know, that's me being a newbie. Um, so I did kind of like have to fix this when it was still pliable. See, this side is a little wonky. A little wonky, but not bad. You know, this, again, this is my first try. These are different molds. These are a little stiffer. I, um, much different. Not as thick as those. See how much thicker that is than this? Okay. So, um, these aren't as good quality. So I can already tell. But, you know, these, these did the job. So this came out. I put the I put unicorn glitter in there and some of the seashells, which I got from my uh, Primal Flow kit. So I needed to do the unicorn uh, glitter with the unicone. Uh, but yeah, this side was a little wonky. I had to kind of like while it was still pliable, I kind of had to smooth it down a little bit. But otherwise, it did. You know, I think I did a pretty good job with this as well. Um, again, my first try. Uh, so I guess this small one is more for jewelry, and then I have that of those other ones, the larger ones for coasters and stuff. So yeah, so I just want to share that with you. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna, now that I feel a little more confident, um, <clears throat> you know, I just like I wanted to try it first to see how this resin was. So now that I saw how beautiful this came out, um, I feel a little more confident doing it on here with you guys. So a couple of things about resin, and I'm going to show you, you know, what I, I'm going to share quickly. What I do know is, A, your table or your surface should be level. Okay, so um, I did check my table uh, after the fact, by the way, because I was like, oh my God, I didn't check to see if my surface was level. Thank God it was, but um, yeah, get yourself a little level. I have a better one, but this does the trick, okay? So make sure your surfaces are level first. Uh, number, number two... Please wear gloves. These are my new gloves I got. I like these black ones. Uh, and these will not get sticky. Okay, so definitely wear gloves. Uh, ventilation, your room, even though this does not have an odor, it really doesn't. Uh, some do. But um, please do this in a well ventilated uh, area. And if you are like very sensitive, wear a mask. You know, um, simple as that. Um, like I said, one-to-one -one ratio, please measure it out. And two very, uh, yeah, level. And then also the temperature is so important uh, when doing resin. Your room or your area should not be that cold. I think the perfect temperature is between 70 and 75 degrees. My room is usually like 65 because I don't like being hot. Little note, I hate the summer, um, <laughs> but yeah, it should not be uh, cold because the resin will, you know, slow down, get hard. It won't, it won't be, you know, it won't move around. So, um, and it won't cure properly either. Uh, so the, it's better to be in a warmer. 65 is okay. It's okay. Um, and you can always put this stuff you could store it in another area like let's say you don't like being hot in your room just store it in an area where it's warm like my kitchen's warmer if I want to I could just store this in in there and I could actually leave these molds in my kitchen if I wanted to cure you know so and I think yeah the the temperature leveling gloves ventilation ratio and I know I'm forgetting something else but I will think about it Oh, and these are self-leveling, so um, you know, when I just poured it in, it just leveled out itself. And just don't pour over the mold like I did with this one. Yeah, again, that's me being a total newbie. And I learned all the stuff, obviously. Oh, yes, and the mixing. That's what I forgot, the mixing. Literally, you have to mix, mix, mix. I mean, I'll probably show you tomorrow, but mix, 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 and then scrape the bottom, the sides, mix, mix, at least 10, 15 minutes. Seriously, 
you have to do it otherwise it won't mix properly so what I did do was I mixed uh, the two parts and then I added um, the glitter um, and then I mixed and mixed and mixed again and then after the resin was in the mold then I added the shell pieces okay and then what I did was after I added the shell piece I added a little more resin to the top to make sure that the shells were inside it and not just kind of laying on top you know it's so I don't feel them so they're inside the mold inside the resin okay so yeah that is my quote-unquote <laughs> expert not nowhere near um, so I ordered these uh, mica powders from Arteza and these are kind of expensive I'll be honest with you but um, they were on sale and I also got they had a sale going on which I didn't even know uh, these were on sale and um, I got some canvases as well and what I do is I use Afterpay so it's like um, it's a service where you can like get what you want and then they break it down to four payments every two weeks so like with this and the my um, canvases it was about 60 bucks honestly um, and then but every two weeks they're gonna charge me like 1485 so it actually works for me because again starving artist <laughs> so but this came with it gives you a little note here about um, just like if you see the bottles not totally full it's just that some mica powders are heavier so that's all they're just kind of letting you know like you're not getting gypped and it comes with this adorable little spoon which I think is adorable hopefully I don't lose this sucker so we'll see and yeah these colors are gorgeous I'll just show you a couple obviously these are 35 and then also if you're ordering from Arteza don't forget that they have coupon codes so honestly between this and the canvases I bought I bought some more 8 by 10s um, I saved almost $18 so yeah they were on sale plus I had like a 25% off um, 20 and 25 20 or 25 percent off coupon code so look at these beautiful colors I'm not gonna show you all of them like I said because I'm not you know you want to be sitting here all day looking at all 35 of them but I'll just show you a few and then I will get to what we're doing today okay and then I'm gonna show you one more thing and then that's it but these are beautiful and the, the color names are always cool well, lavender and of course there's another one with a label missing but they have like many different um, golds they have like light gold uh, regular gold this is yellow gold they have Aztec gold so um, yeah so this is these are really pretty so this is gonna last me a long time um, I just yeah this is beautiful I think this is the periwinkle no this is the bubblegum pink isn't that pretty Yep, so that's that. So let me get, let me close this up. I just want to share that with you. What my next projects are. Get in there, you. All right. This literally just got delivered two seconds ago. And I want to do some blooms and I want to do some um, more kind of objects uh, besides just paintings. Um, I like to expand and learn new things and I want to do some blooms and while I open this up I was like you know there's a channel called uh, Naptime Creations and she has because I saw what she was doing with her blooms a really great recipe um, for like a cell topper so basically you would paint pour the paint down on the tile or your canvas or a piece of wood and your colors and then just like in the center it's called a cell topper and then you would blow either with a straw your breath uh, or a heat gun like whatever you want to do but usually it, she does it with her breath she just blows right on top and her um, recipe is Amsterdam Amsterdam titanium white paint which I did order but it's not gonna be here till between the thir February 3rd and February 7th so I'm waiting on that to do blue I can still use these but I won't do the blooms yet with Floetrol so you know go check her channel out it's like one teaspoon paint to two and three quarter teaspoons Floetrol but yes it's naptime creations I'll link her channel below she's really really nice 
says really nice work. Um, yeah, so I got these and it has like a cork back for, um, I didn't realize, I thought they were already stuck on here. And that's kind of cool. So you can actually, if you get paint on the back, you could then put your piece of cork and it is a trivet, um, well yeah, whatever, coasters, whatever you want. And now I have some more um, resin. I could resin it or, you know, varnish, whatever. So yeah, I'm going to be um, experimenting with that too. So I'm really excited with some new projects coming up. I actually have another, I have a, a, quite a few things. I, I always have ideas now. It's like I have not had this many ideas in like, since I was a child, which is awesome because honestly, it's like you guys kind of watching my channel and it's like actually inspiring me to be more creative so I want to thank you for that so I will be back in two seconds I just want to show you my little whew, every month I have these hauls um, and then actually my Primal Flow subscription box will probably be here um, like probably the week of I don't know it's like the 9th 10th something like that around the, it's the beginning it's like the a little bit after the first week of the month something like that a week and a half something like that from now alrighty so I will be right back and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do today and that will be very fast I promise okay all right hey guys I am back so I wanted to give these um, uh, pouring masters acrylics another shot I really do believe it is this really ugh, subpar seriously I'm sorry USR supply uh, gloss medium and I literally have a full bottle I kind of I feel bad I don't know what the heck to do with it now I may use this medium with like cheaper paints like the artist uh, loft paint you know like maybe craft paint that way I don't want to waste it I don't want to just throw it out but um, it, it is hard to work with because it just creates so many bubbles um, and not that this paint is really, really, really expensive, but you know it's a little more expensive than artist loft and stuff. And I, and and you know I proved myself right because what I did was I used the Liquitex because I did not like this as a varnish. It was just creating too many brush strokes, and maybe it's just me like again uh, being a newbie at varnishing and stuff. Maybe I'm not using the right brush. But honestly, the um, Tri Art liquid glass is perfect for a varnish it's just beautiful and it works perfectly with the same brushes so but again it could just be me not using this this product enough but you know what I don't want it to go to waste because it's also a medium so I decided to use because Liquitex is a good brand um, it is a more of the expensive side and I said you know what let me use this it's not just a varnish it's a gloss medium and varnish let me use that and honestly I'm telling you right now, 90% less bubbles immediately, immediately. And it was not hard to mix. This yellow, for some reason, was giving me a little problem, which I don't know why. Um, it was creating bubbles no matter what. Um, but this, all these paints have settled um, overnight. So right now, it should be bubble-free. Um, I do tend to like just like gently mix it. Um, again before I pour okay so yeah I don't want this paint to go to waste because it's a, it's a pretty good paint and look at the colors okay so quickly we have wild rose magenta grape jelly bubblegum pink 24 karat gold metallic lemon yellow and then we got our titanium white and they all have the Liquitex um, gloss medium in there okay yes yeah, sorry US art supply I don't know why they chose this I again I don't know if pouring masters like is a part of US art supply if US art supply makes pouring masters paint but I've seen this um, medium on Amazon and it is one of the cheaper mediums and honestly I hate to say it, you get what you pay for I'm gonna be honest it, it, it just it's a it's a pain so immediately there was less bubbles and I saw a big difference in mixing. So I really want to, you know, use these paints. So today I'm going to do an 8x10 canvas, okay? And um, I'm going to do a 
very colorful ring pour. Usually when I do ring pours, maybe I'll use three colors. Today I am using six. Alrighty. So I have talked long enough and we will get right to it. See you in a sec, guys.
guys, I am back quickly. So, you know, at first when I was pouring, I knew that the mixture was thick, but then when I was pouring it, I was like, this is thick paint, like thick, thick. So, you know, at first I was like, oh man, I literally ruined it, which I mean, it is what it is. It's fine. You could always pour if you if you feel like a painting did not come out the way you wanted. Remember, you could always pour over it at a later date. Just let it dry for a while. You could do like another coat on top and then, you know, paint over it. And then I think I dripped that little annoying dot from my glove, but that's okay. But I am actually pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah, I this came out much better than I thought it would because again when I was pouring I was like wow this is not gonna work it got it's just the mixture is way too thick but it actually worked so you know I mean this is kind of what you want a ring pour these beautiful lines and textures and I'm, I'm really happy with it and I like the uh, the combo combination uh, combo combination Wow can't talk today uh, the color combination I love I love all these colors it really looks very pretty together so um you know I did have to torch it twice which is fine um, but I'm gonna be honest with you it's the pouring medium it is 100% the pouring medium yes the paint creates a little bit of bubbles but it is that US art supply Ooh, blankety blank pouring medium. Yeah, and it's a shame because I have a whole bottle and I really don't know what the hell to do with it. Someone give me a suggestion out there, okay? What I could do with it. <laughs> or maybe I could give it to a beginner. I don't know, but still, no, actually, no, it would not be good for a beginner because it's just too much torching and bubbles. It would ruin it, any painting. But um, yeah, I'll figure something out. Like I said, maybe I'll use it with cheaper paints. But yeah, so the Liquitex worked. It just, you know, maybe I had to thin it out a little more. Um, yeah, and just letting you know, I did not add any water and no silicone uh, to this mixture. So I am pretty happy with this, you know, uh, except for that stupid dot. But other than that, um, yeah, you know, things happen. But no, I'm, I'm happy with how it um, wound up in the end, you know. I really didn't think it was going to work out. So yeah, that's it, guys. Oh, yes, and one little message out there. So I picked the winners yesterday to my um, giveaway, and everyone contacted me except for Sean, a Kochi artist. So Shan, if you are out there and you are listening, you won yesterday, so please contact me. Uh, my email will uh, be in the description below. I always put my email uh, in the description just in case if anyone is interested in buying any one of my pieces because they are for sale. Okay, and that's it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and watching and your support. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.